Okay, so I had an idea. I thought maybe what we could do is actually put together a few videos and what we'll do in the next few videos is build out a full Q&A project. And this is something that I've actually been wanting to do for quite a while now. And I think it will actually be really cool. I was thinking through it this morning and I thought, okay, today we're gonna start it. So what you can see on the screen right now is, is the GitHub repo for this project, which is completely empty, almost. There's a readme, a git ignore, uh, and this one architecture drawing that I sell literally, you can see four minutes ago. So I'm gonna show you that and I'm going to explain what we're actually going to go through. And I think we're gonna cover a lot of different things. So I think this is, I think that is one of the reasons why I think this is such a cool project. So at the moment, this is like the basic architecture of what we would need to build a Q&A model. And the end goal is to have is to have a front end, which looks kind of like this. So we'll have like a search bar here and we'll have some visual up here. It's gonna be a little bit better than the, the sick man. I'm gonna show you what I already have and maybe we can use that or maybe we'll do something different, I don't know. And what we're gonna be able to do is ask a question here and we're going to be able to answer the question based on uh, stoic philosophy books so i haven't really read any of these i've read like little bits um but they're pretty interesting and i think quite unique so as far as i know there's definitely not anything like this out there at the moment where you ask a question and you get the answer back from some ancient stoic philosophy book and there's only really two books that i've thought of so far which is uh, Meditations by Marcus Aurelius and Letters from a Stoic by Seneca. And the good thing with both of these is that we can find both of them online for free. So we can use uh, Python requests to get these. So I'll just kind of put a, a little list here of what I think we're going to need. So the first one is actually extracting and downloading this data. Um, so we're going to be using requests for that. And then once we have actually got that data, we need to pre-process it. And when we're pre-processing it, I think that will just be a case of using regex more than anything else, but I'm not sure yet. So let's see. So after we pre-process it, then that's when we get into this stuff over here. So this whole sort of stack that you can see uh, without the API. So this is a typical, it's called a reader or retriever reader. And what we do is we use this up here. This is our database. It's a document store, Elasticsearch document store. And what we're gonna do is feed all of these. Sorry, it's getting a little bit messy with the color. So let me change it. So what we're gonna do is take these and we're gonna feed them into our document store. And once we have that, what we want to do is build this retriever reader stack and it will allow us to query the retriever down here and what the retriever will do is send that query to Elasticsearch here which is what you can see happening there and returning from that we'll get so many different contexts so all of the texts from meditations and letters from a stoic We'll split them up by maybe paragraph and saw them in here. And what these contexts will be are the most relevant paragraphs. And once we've done that, this retriever 
we'll pass on the context to our reader model down here. And what the reader model will do is say it's given uh, you know, a long sentence like this or paragraph, it will say, okay, the actual answer that you want is actually only these three words here and it will return those three words. And what we want to do is return those three words in our answer back to our API. But alongside the answer, we're also going to include the, the full context here as well. So we get a few things back. And I think that that's like going to be the more machine learning side of it. But obviously we need to support all the machine learning side. Um, and I mean, the very first part of that that you can obviously see here is the API. So let me, so let me write down so we have the, the ML part. And for that, we're going to be using something called Haystack. And once we get out of that part, we move on. Just going to use a different color here. We move on to our API. The API, we'll, just, we'll use probably Fast API uh, to set that up. Then once we set that up, we go on to our front end part. And the front end, I, I don't, I'm not a front end developer. I just mainly use Python, but I do know Angular a little bit. Um, so what we're going to do is build all of this part using Angular. So this will be our Angular front end. And that's essentially everything we'll be covering, but there's you know there's quite a lot in here. Um, in particular, as well, what I've missed is alongside you know we have our reader model down here, but what I want to try and do is rather than just um, taking the reader model from uh, Hugging Face Transformers as we normally would, I want to actually try training it and for that we need to use something called MLM which is mass language modeling so we would need to train a BERT model using MLM or fine-tune the BERT model I should say on the data from our books up here and then we'd also want to train it so that it performs Q&A uh, and for that we need to use the squad data set, probably squad anyway. Um, so, you know, there's quite a lot that I think we would have to do to build this. And I think it'd be pretty interesting. So that is what we're gonna be covering in sort of the next few videos. And the one other final little thing. Okay, so over here we have the Marcus Aurelius Sigman, uh, and I thought maybe something like this would be cool. I don't know. This is something I drew ages ago, and this is this. Sorry, so this is like this is Marcus Aurelius, and I think something like this, maybe this or something like it, would be pretty cool to just have in the middle of the web page. And underneath we have a search bar, and um, keep it pretty simple. So I think that's everything really for the plan, and. I mean, the first thing we're going to do in the in the next video is actually set up requests and, and download that data and maybe pre-process it as well or they they might be two videos so that's everything for this video i hope that you're as excited about this as i am because i'm really looking forward to actually building all of this i think it'll be super cool and i mean ideally at the end it's one it's going to look cool and two, we're going to learn like a huge amount of stuff if you you know put all this together. There's so many different things that you need to know in order to make everything work. So it should be really cool, and I'm looking forward to to getting started with it. So I will see you in the next video where we'll actually download that data and pre-process it.